Hey guys, Coach Kate here with Coach Josh. We're gonna show you this week's Fast and Furious Fat Furnace Friday workout where we're getting planked out and jacked off. So, six stations, one exercise at each, 15 seconds of work, 15 seconds to rotate. You'll do that for four rounds. We'll go through, show six new stations, halfway mark, um, and then for four more rounds, okay? So, exercise station number one is rope jacks. You're gonna wanna step in, okay? Get slack in that rope, keep those feet out. Take those arms up, slam those ropes as you bring your arms back down. If you need to take the impact out, just step one foot out at a time, or you can just do straight original rope slams, okay? That's station number one. Station number two, over here on the TRX, we're gonna do our TRX ball out. So you're gonna face out towards the blue floor, arms out in front of you, on your toes here, core engaged, you're gonna take those arms up overhead, and then pull them down and get a crunch in here as you pull your arms down, so straighten out. Pull your arms into your stomach here and crunch there. So pull in, crunch, stay on your toes, core is tight, use your core to pull back in and crunch that core as you pull in. If you need to decrease some of the pressure on the lower back, you can have one foot out in front of you to help with that, still crunching as you pull in. Station number three, we'll have the sliders out. You're gonna start with plank jack. So plank position, shoulders over those wrists, you're gonna slide your feet apart and then pull them back together all while keeping your core tight, shoulders over the wrist. If you need to, you can take one foot out at a time. You can take the sliders out completely, kick your feet apart, kick them back together, or again, one foot out at a time, or just hold that plank position for those 15 seconds. Station number four, we're gonna have the stability ball set up. We're gonna do mountain climbers on the stability ball here. So, Josh gonna show up in the forearms, where his shoulders are right over his uh, elbows there. Pulling one knee in at a time, you're gonna have to really Keep that core engaged and challenge your balance here as that ball is going to want to wiggle you all over. You can also go from your hands. This variation is going to be a bit harder. You're going to really just squeeze that ball, keep those shoulders nice and stable, pull those knees in. You can take the climber part out completely and just hold a ball plank. All right. Station number five is over at the dumbbells, and we're going to do press jacks. So we're going to set up the lighter dumbbell. Kick your feet apart, press those arms up. So kick them apart, press them up. Fast pace here, drive those arms up, pulling them back down. You can take the impact out by stepping just one foot out at a time, but pressing both arms up. And then your last station for the first half, you're gonna have this trip of the blue floor. We're gonna do plank squat jumps, so plank position. Kick those feet outside your hands, kick them back, up and back, up and back at that fast pace as fast as you can. If you need to, just bring one foot up at a time and then back at a time here. Try to switch which leg you pull up first, or again, just hold that plank position. So you guys are gonna do that for four rounds. Halfway through, you get two and a half minutes of rest while we show you six new stations. So the second half, we're on the ropes, you're gonna do plank slams. So planking on one arm, go as wide as you need with your feet to keep that hip turned down to the floor, core tight, squeeze those loose, and you're slamming that rope, you guys. Really focus on slamming as hard as you can. When you come back in round number two, or it would be round number uh, five, six, you'll slam with the other arm, okay? So you're alternating which arm you're slamming with each round. Station number two of the second half, you're still gonna go over to the TRX and we're gonna do squat jacks. So, you wanna start with your elbows right, your ribs, feet together. Then kick them apart, squat down, together at the top as you straighten up, apart at the bottom, together at the top. Think about fast feet here, kick them apart as fast as you can. If you need to take the impact out, just step one foot out at a time, kind of like our sumo squats up and over. Station number three of the second half is body saws. So, you're still gonna get your feet on those sliders. You're gonna have your forearms on the floor. Here you're gonna push your feet back and then pull them back up. So you notice Josh's shoulders go back, then he pulls himself back up. Now he's going pretty far, he's got a lot of core strength in there. You just go back as far as you feel comfortable and then pull back in. And you can also notice when Josh pulls back in, he's crunching his abs there at the top. If this is too difficult right now, you guys, just again, focus on a 15 second hardcore plank. Um, getting that core engaged, squeezing those glutes. Station number four, over on this group of the blue floor, we're gonna do burpee jacks. If you feel comfortable, we want you to try it here. So you're gonna kick back for a burpee, come back up, up into a jumping jack. Again, kick back for your burpee, come back up, up into a jumping jack. Burpee jack here. If you need to take the jack part out, just do straight burpees. You could do step back burpees if you need to. You could do any squat variations. So drop squats, jump squats, or air squats over here. Station number five, we're gonna come back over to the dumbbells. And here we're gonna do a chest press jack. So holding those dumbbells, 
dumbbells at your chest. You're gonna wanna go lighter weight or you can just hold one. You're gonna press it out from your chest as you kick your feet apart. As your feet come back together, you're pulling it back in. So out apart, in together. You can also just do one foot at a time if you need to take that impact out again. And then the last station here, we're going to do um, light checks again. Light blocks. So down to your forearms and then back up. Trying to keep those hips as still as you can here. Core engaged, squeezing those glutes. Again, if you need to, you can just hold the plank for those 15 seconds. So a lot of jacks and a lot of planks today, you guys. Fast and furious. Nice job.